My name is Eli. I am from Divine Electric, lead singer, frontman extraordinaire. My name's Ivo, I play guitar. I'm Zoran, I play bass guitar, and uh, sometimes on the rare occasion I might do backing vocals. I'm Paul Corbin, and I play drums in Divine Electric. Uh, it was um, 2005, uh, don't know the date, but um, I was playing in another band called Powerhead and I did a gig with a band called Tommy Gun and Tommy Gun was Evil, the guitarist, and Eli Singer. It was cool, but it wasn't really the right, the actual right thing that, there was something better that could evolve from this particular band. And there was one night I was at this venue and I saw this incredible fucking buck wild rock star leather pants long hair bass player i was playing the thrash metal band at the time he walks in with a, with a cowboy hat i go who's this dude walking into a death metal gig with a cowboy it was a cowboy hat i think it was a uh, leopard print so uh this is a cool dude and he seen bop in his head i go cool dude and spoke to him afterwards sort of got to know each other then he tells me about his band it was tommy gun and Eva was in the band and I met up with him there at the gigs, at their gigs, and uh, yeah, we just became friends. And later on, we always talked about getting a band together. And uh, yeah, in about 2005, it all happened. I think all the bands kind of broke up at the same time, and man, it was just easy. Everyone just hooked up and uh, started playing tunes, and we were out gigging before, you know, it only took a couple months, I think, yeah. Basically, what happened was Divine Electric, and yeah, it's pretty much. It's had its ups and downs, but it's gone well since then. Basically, classic rock. It's, um, it's got... A combination of old school and some new rock. Um, you know, w when you do hear it, it's obviously influenced heavily with the 70s and 80s kind of hard rock. Uh, but it, it is poppy as well. There's some commercial tunes and heavier stuff with a kind of modern twist. Um, like what's in here, bit of twist. It's got the um, the musicianship, it's got the dynamics, the clarity, and also the execution as well. I'd say. Yeah, what else am I gonna fucking do? Because I'm a lunatic, absolute fucking lunatic. That's the only reason why. You know, many people tell me fucking why do you play in Divine Electric? Fuck, man. <coughs> it's the band that I envisioned I'd, I'd be in when I was starting out as a musician and honestly I don't really think I could live without it. I enjoy playing rock music <clears throat> as much as I've been playing thrash and death metal for so many years I enjoy rock. Um, for me it's very satisfying, very soothing, okay, I, it, just, it just does it for me. I like, you get in there, you just crank it up, it just, the energy, that feel is just, you can't beat it, it's just awesome. Well that's huge. Um, it's um, eclectic as you can possibly get. I like everything from Motown to to hard rock to to um, classical. Well, you know, uh, musical influences. Uh, that'd be um, it's a big influence for me. It starts from rock all the way to like thrash and death and black metal. Uh, be ACDC. There'd be White Snake. There'd be um, Wasp, Motley Crue, Rose Tattoo, Iron Maiden. Dio, through our early Slayer to Testament, Sodom, Creator, Exodus to Immortal, Behemoth, it's, it's Suffocation. It's a big, big uh, mix for me. It, all those bands have influenced me in some sort of way. So. Influences um, range from... The first stuff I got into was definitely the 80s kind of rock. Um, guys like Randy Rhodes, Eddie Van Halen, Lynch. Then that kind of grew into, you know, going back to the 70s and discovering where it all came from. And also, you know, guys like, um, admire guys like Prince, um, just uh, freaks, you know, just really good. Pretty much anyone that's, you know, good songwriters, um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's heavy or ballad -y or anything like that. Um, it's got to be good tunes, good grooves. What inspires me in, in this band is Hanoi Rocks, Michael Monroe, LA Guns, Guns N' Roses, 
I try and bring the groove aspect like Tommy Lee did with Motley Crue, bring it into there. Um, other drummers that really inspire me are guys like um, Cozzy Powell, Bill Ward, um, uh, Jean-Paul Gasta from Clutch. I really like how he plays. And um, my favorite drummer of all time is Away from Voivod. Um, but yeah, as I said, like it's, um, I come from, I listen to different music from these guys. It's not as eclectic as, say, Eli's, not as broad. But um, I'm like, I get into stuff from like Carnatic Indian music right through to bands like Sun and uh, Burning Witch and things like that. I'm like, you know, that's what I get into. And I bring sort of some elements of that kind of influence in my playing style into this band, as long as it works. But, uh, you know, those are my main musical influences, you know, as I said, the classic rock bands for, for this particular band. Yeah. And Motorhead. Pretty much all of them. There's yeah. only minus just a few shockers, really. Other than that, they've they've all been they're all up there. Uh, favorite gig. Um, I think um, an exciting time was when we first started uh, playing, um, just gelling. That was a lot of fun. But um, looking back, it probably sounded like shit. I don't know. But anyway. That's how I remember it, so who gives a fuck? Um, but definitely the leader Ford support, I think that was our best gig. Um, we really nailed it with that one, and um, all the guys involved were fucking awesome, and no, definitely our best gig to date. Uh, the early days when we first started playing the, the residency gigs, uh, they were really cool, a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> just all wild and crazy, and just they were just out of control a lot of the time. Uh, we've had a lot of good gigs. There's obviously been a few that were just shit. Oi, 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 Probably the most memorable one would be the Striper tour, I'd say. That was, that was just awesome. Just perfection. It was magic. And uh, recently we just supported Leader Ford. Uh, that was awesome. For us it was just loud clear powerful tight it just sounded better than ever so um yeah that's another memorable mem memorable gig for me i'd say um i think one of the best gigs we ever did and it was really weird we played this like really poorly organized metal festival in canberra a few years back and we rocked up and we just thought this is going to be a shamozzle and quite frankly it was but when we got on just with the crack of the snare we all locked in and just all these people just like filed in and these guys from metalcore bands you know with the hair and the earrings and the full sleeve tattoos to like death metal dudes they were just like standing the, the room was packed they were standing there just with their jaws on the ground or big smiles on their faces just watching us and we played so well we just locked in and had so much fun and my guys come up to us he's going man you guys were sick i've never seen a band like you guys before and i think yeah that it's funny you play some gigs that you get have these big expectations about things you get in there gets average fucks up and then you think go up to a venue and you're going oh my god this is going to be a shamozzle and you end up walking away with like selling heaps of merch having new fans and being the best band of the night and having the greatest time ever it's weird i think they're all freaks yeah they're all fucking freaks wankers tosses every every fucking one of them especially me absolute fuckwits i tell you now they are Fucked. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Other bandmates. All right. Uh, fuck. Who do we start with first? Okay, we'll go with um, Paul. I love them all. You know, uh, it's um, you know, Evor is like the mother of the band, the most sensible guy around. Um, you know, good songwriter too. Paul's got a really open mind and um, willing to try any kind of thing we want him to. And um, I think he's a big part of why the band works. Um, Zoran. Fucking bass, man. You, you need to be a special person to play bass. It's only four strings. <laughs> four fucking strings, mate. Most solid bass player, I think, I've ever seen. Uh, big sound. Um, treats his music and his sound seriously. And um, that's why, you know, everyone would love to have him in their band. A bunch of characters. Um, Paul is unique in his own way. Evil's Mr. Cool, you know, in his way. Eli is um, you know, just 
just out there, man. Just <laughs> Eli is Eli, man. so uh, they're all great bunch of guys. Um, Eli, um, one of the one of the last guys left, I think, one of those ultimate front men. You know, I think um, it's a bit of an endangered species or species. I don't know how they put up with me. <laughs> no, they're great. They're my brothers, they're my family, love them to death. Excellent musicians, that's one thing that um, always, I'm always impressed about and proud of, extremely proud of. It's getting much more groovier and it is getting heavier, but at the same time still maintain like, you know, it's like you've just been sort of like, you know, it's sleazier than, um, than a you know, transsexual prostitute in Bangkok. Our sound is, um, it's always started off solid and, and raw and tight, but it's actually gone probably tighter. Um, it's actually gone also more diverse. Uh, we got the, obviously the fast songs, the groovy songs, the slow songs, the ballad songs. So it's actually uh, broadened in um, uh, different sort of styles put together, but it's still the vinyl electric. I think it's become a lot more of our own. I think that in the beginning there was, um, we had a, another guitarist at, at, when we first started, and it was great. It, it was, we all gelled and it was a perfect little thing at, for, at the first stages, but we had different songs that were, that were in, and I think now we've kind of weeded certain songs out and it's just become this, as my brother said the other night after he saw us play, he said it's, you've just, it, you've really progressed into this well-oiled machine. and. That stuck with me because I think that's sort of what's happened now. It's just this straight get up there and just rock the shit out of it, you know. So the the sound has just gotten more mature, I think. So and the songwriting is even even better. So yeah. Um, favorite song last week it was "Don't Feel Like Home." This week it's "Don't Lie to Me," and before that it was "Soul Shaker" for a while. And man, I think if you have a certain favorite every week, then I think something's, you know, you're doing a good job. I love all the songs. They're all great. They've all got something about them that I actually like and enjoy playing. Um, <clears throat> just to throw a couple out, it'd be um, One on One. I like that. It's really catchy and groovy. Uh, Dirty Lover's got this just really cool groove to it. Favorite song to play is One on One because it's a straightforward and it's a good classic rock song, catchy chorus. Gets everyone going, gets fists in the air. I tend to be slightly biased towards All the Tears You Cry. I love that song, um, which is Evo's, one of Evo's songs. Um, I like the, the new one that I've introduced on the piano. I've just recently sort of brought the piano into the band. Uh, Don't Lie to Me, that's, that's a great one. But I love them all. I could, you know, like, they're, yeah, so it's a, that's a very tough question, but um, I'd say that those two will kind of, as for me, stand out a bit more. Um, I don't know, who gives a shit? As long as we're still playing, it's irrelevant. I'm, you know, fuck. I'm still going to play, I don't care what Next Door's doing. It's a bit too contemporary. Fuck. Contemporary music scene, it's, um, it's always up and down. People come, people go, bands come and go. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's, there's bands that are there to stay and there's bands that are there just to just fill in time and you can just see who's real, who's got it, who wants to do it and people who don't. Um, I don't really look at it much. I just focus on Divine with the boys and I don't worry too much about other styles, other bands, other genres. That's not my business, I really don't care. Uh, my priority is just focus on Divine Electric. I just think that there could be a lot more camaraderie and um, bands should look out for each other a bit more and there should be more of a, in the Australian scene anyway, more of a scene and and support each other and just in that sort of sense it's a bit shit. Well, I think in, contemporary music scene's pretty healthy but it's just that it's just like so fleeting. Like, um, you know, unless you're sort of like, you know, got a lot of capital behind you, um, you jump up, you have your 15 minutes of fame and then you're back down. But also there comes to talent. You know what I mean? So unless you've got the talent and the skills to pay the bills and write really good songs, you're just going to get chewed up and spat back out. I'm here to fuck spiders. 